Hey, so it's Andrew here from Home Theatre Engineering. We've just finished day one of the ISF three day level three calibration. This is Jason Dustall. He's come over all the way from Florida, bless his heart, and uh, trying to train us Australians on how to calibrate TVs and projectors. So day one was pretty full on. We talked about a whole lot of stuff, but uh, uh, probably better to get Jason to talk about some of the stuff that we covered. Yeah, so thanks Andrew. Uh, yesterday we cover a lot about uh, one of our biggest challenges right now is uh, 18 gig bandwidth and bandwidth limitations and uh, get, getting the TV set up for the right EDIDs and things like that. So uh, we cover quite a bit of that in the first half of the day. Mm -hmm. um, and then second half of the day yesterday we started tinkering with the TVs a little bit, um, doing some of the fundamental adjustments like brightness and contrast and uh, that just kind of gives us uh, a taste of today. Uh, today we're going to get deeper into standard dynamic range calibration, talk about grayscale, uh, multi-point gamma, uh, color management, those types of things. And hopefully by the end of the day today, if things are rolling smoothly, we'll start getting into some of the HDR stuff. And um, that leaves us on day three to work on projectors and, and just practice, practice, practice. What do you think the benefits are to the customers? At the end of the day, if you own a projector or a TV mm -hmm. and then you can get in touch with an ISF calibrator, sure. how, how's that going to help you out? You know, there's really a, a, a few great benefits of this service. And um, you know, one thing that we, we've noticed over the years is when um, trying to explain the service to a client and stuff, uh, it tends to get overly technical and, and people tend to over explain it. And, um, it doesn't have to be that difficult at all. Um, the, the main benefits are, are just some really obvious things, really. Uh, seeing more shadow details in dark movies, uh, watching things like Art of Flight and seeing all the details in the snow and the snow actually being the right color and uh, you know making skin tones look as natural as possible and making sure the screen is the right shape and size and especially in a projection system where you may have different uh, aspect ratios and anamorphic lenses and things. So you know having um, just making sure the picture is as pristine as possible and uh, and we're seeing everything as the original content creators and directors and cinematographers intended. So what we're talking about here is uh, actually getting 100% of the performance out of the product you bought, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like if you go to buy a, a suit, right? Mm. To go to a, maybe a wedding or so. And, um, you know, you don't just buy it off the shelf. You have to get it fitted to your body. And in our world, what we're trying to do is, is tune the video system for the room that it's in. Uh, you know, the TV comes from the factory, the projector comes from the factory with just very generic baseline settings, uh, but they don't have any idea what your room is like, what size screen you have, what kind of screen you have. So the manufacturers give us tons and tons of adjustments in the TV to custom tailor that TV for the room that it's in. Cool. You've been doing this for a while. We went for a walk and had a yeah, coffee the other yeah. day. And you said you started off at what age? You were tinkering with TVs and sort of yeah. adjusting brightness and contrast at yeah. a very early um, age. The, the funny story is, uh, I always tell, is my, my grandparents had an old console TV with a record player on top. And I remember as a kid, just two knobs, right? And uh, one of the knobs was a black level control, what I learned eventually. But it was funny because you, know, you would turn the, turn the level down and, and all of a sudden shadows and stuff were gone. And then you turn the level up a little bit and all of a sudden your shadows were there. And if you turn the level up too high, the picture looked really gray and milky and washed out so as a young kid I was just curious and turning knobs and I don't know just looking for things in the picture it, it sort of uh, just stuck with me and um, you know, so you've been calibrating from a, uh, yeah, from a yeah. very early uh, age huh? you know professionally I, I yeah. really got interested in it in the early 2000s yeah. and, and, and finally was able to to gather up the funds and and, yeah. and, and make it to the class in yeah. about 2007 or so so you know we're going on uh, about a 12 years now of, of calibrating and um, and I've been teaching the course now for about seven years. Yeah. That's excellent, great. Yeah. So uh, that's day one with the ISF course. We've got two days to go. Uh, it was a really great day. We had a lot of really good conversation. A lot of people, we've got a great team here because uh, people from different parts of the industry yeah. have some like medical guys, some IT post production. guys, post production. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've had some really great questions and we're certainly sort of deep diving into some of the challenges, especially of the, you know, the higher bandwidth and, you know, HDR, 60 hertz stuff and, uh, you know, HDMI cables. So I'm really looking forward to uh, to day two. Yeah. And uh, also, by the way, uh, Jason's produced some really great videos which are sort of buried out there on the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to post links to those and they will be uh, below on the, the bottom of this video. Uh, so uh, don't forget to subscribe, like our YouTube channel, ring the bell and check out the links and that will take you to, uh, to Jason's videos which are actually really awesome and should be seen by everybody. So thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Andrew.